Good evening. Hi, Maurice. Good evening. How are you? Everything is good. And you? Nice. That sounds all right. I guess everything is okay as well. So it's Monday, you know, so um, it's a little hard sometimes, but I guess it's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. Uh, thank Good you so much for joining. Hi, Ricardo, Enrique, thank you for joining. Uh, Helen, hello, great to see you. Um, I see Gabby. Hi, Hi. So, Gabby, good evening as well. Tell me, acabo de leer que se siente mal de salud. I hope you get a little better. Thank you, guys. How are you? How's everything going? Everything okay? Going. Teacher. Yes. Ya le expliqué va lo del viernes, va. Yes, 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 yes. No worries. Espero que todo esté bien. Thank you so much for that. Gracias por unirse también el día de ahora. Thank you for joining and, and sharing your time with us. Uh, guys, creo que um, a couple of you are not feeling okay. But les agradezco enormemente que, you know, el, el estar acá, el quedarse como oyente, right? And of course, you always have the chance to watch uh, the session again. So thank you. Um, how was your weekend, guys? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you have a nice Saturday and a good Sunday? Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you? How's everything going? Very well, teacher. Exciting because this is the last week of the month. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm sad to hear about it, but the good thing is that it is also the last week of the month. So that means that payday is coming. <laughs> and yes, I gotta be yes. positive in a way. <laughs> okay. like, but, yeah, um, so the sadness is here. The happiness is uh, more uh, <clears throat> cerca, más cerca. Closer. Yes, closer. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I definitely get that. Hi, Andrea. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining already. Thank you guys for your camera. So thank you for having it on. And so for letting us uh, see you, right? Um, today, guys, tenemos la sesión número nueve. So we're having a uh, session number nine. Pretty much nos estamos moviendo bastante rápido en el módulo, right? Uh, so by Tuesday next week, we will be finishing week number three and uh, pretty much intermediate two is all. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, <laughs> I forgot it, but, but it's still, so we are almost like going over um, like the second week of this module. Um, guys, I do have a couple of activities for you today. We are going to continue working with unit number two, right? That is related to testing. Um, we haven't checked a lot of things regarding the vocabulary in the unit, so we're going to work on that today. Um, and besides that, vamos a hacer un pequeño repaso de uh, simple past uh, tense. Because uh, um, I was listening last week that it's still right. Algunas veces um, we omit using verbs in past uh, or we just skip that one. So we're going to work a little bit with that today. And of course, speaking as much as possible. Arnoldo, hello. Okay, thank you so much for, for that. And, and I hope you can join us later, no worries. Okay, well guys, um, I hope your weekend was okay. I hope your Saturday and your Sunday was great. And to get started today, I have this activity for you. So guys, this one says, uh, oops, I'm sorry, I forgot to split this. So, um, guys, have you ever thought about wishes? Have you ever thought about um, if you had the opportunity to, I don't know, wish anything you could? So, which were um, your wishes, right? So, can you think of three wishes, guys? Imagine that as Aladdin, right? Imagine that you found one of those uh, thingies that or a genie that uh, make your wishes come true. So can you think of three wishes? What would you wish for? Be in another country. Okay, so be in another country. What else? And why? Travel. Hi, Angelica, good evening. 
So, uh, but imagine that, that you have been asked only for three wishes. So three which wishes. would be your wish? Wish. Wish of uh, working, uh, dies, a world system. Center. Uh, Ricardo, can you say that again? Uh, we shall. That's a world working. Okay, so you a wish wall, you work? A wall. Wall. A wall. I uh, wish a wall. Um, that's working. Okay, so what would be your wish? Because yes. right now you are working, but what sería el, el, el deseo in that case? What would be your wish? Que yo estoy trabajando en la ciudad. Okay. Uh, she's uh, insisting. For let's hear what? No wishes. Okay, but a wish is un deseo, right? So a wish is algo que usted no pues tiene, sí. or something that we don't uh, have. And probably <laughs> we will never have. <laughs> but ah, no that you, uh -huh, so probably not. Uh -huh. <laughs> so something that we just say, oh, I wish I were like in another country or I want to be in another country. I want ah, to live okay. in, I don't know, like in uh, Australia, Africa. I don't know, guys. <laughs> so what are, can you think of three wishes? What would you wish for? Wish you. Wish you. Hello, Miss. Yes, Andrea, good evening. My principal wish um, sería. Okay, I want. You can just, just say I want or I would like, and that is okay. Uh, okay, I want mm -hmm. have a lot of money okay. for save all the animals that homeless. Oh, oh my God, that sounds amazing. But when you say animals, you mean uh, like any kind of animal, pets, wild animals, or just pets? Just pets. Okay. Princip principalmente. Mainly. Mainly. Mainly dogs. pets. Dogs. Oh, dogs. Uh -huh. Would you like to have Callejero. a shelter? A stray animal. I'm going to write it in the chat. So a stray animal. Would you like to have a shelter? A shelter is like a, like a house, right? Uh, where a lot of animals live. And then people can go and can adopt them. Would you like to have a shelter? Yes. Wow. That's a beautiful wish. Okay. Sounds really nice. So a shelter for stray animals or stray dogs. Okay, sounds amazing. Guys, well, I, I, I was thinking about money, you know. <laughs> and Andrea is thinking about other animals. So that is amazing. Guys, what are your wishes? What is something that you would like to have or yes, to be? Can. Yeah? Uh, when, one of my wishes, uh, uh, first of all, Mm -hmm. change in my work okay things from my work to someone that has sent to sell okay so you're going to and change to something that is not related yeah. to sales all right got sales, it yeah. and the second one is have a uh, for more cats. <laughs> more, okay, but that is something you can do. <laughs> so you having know, more are, cats. It's so you expensive. And, and, and I'm the kind of person that I um, uh, los esterilizo. So that's more expensive. Oh. And have uh, four cirurgia, surgeries. Surgeries. Surgeries at the same uh -huh. time. It's very complicated. And no, but the, but now you can take them to Chivo Pet, <laughs> and oh, the, yeah. and that is only yeah. like a That's quarter or a dollar, I think. A quarter for, for yeah, right. procedure. Uh -huh, yeah. Exactly, a quarter per but, procedure. Yeah, it's kind of complicated, but I, because I have to uh, be be in my home to oh. supervise the 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 personality of all the cats because um, the cats will be for a street a street cats. So 
I have to be here. And at the same time, the cats will have to be kitties, not all oh, cats. Okay, because they okay. have to used to it about the rules on my home. <laughs> so <laughs> okay. I have to take care about it because my my cat, it's kind of um temperamental, no territorial. It's okay. just Okay, so they are super gel, possessive. Okay, so very interesting because Andrea says that she would like to have a shelter. Belen says that she would like to adopt four more pets or cats in this case, like a stray kitties. Okay, yes, Ricardo, what are your wishes? I would, I would like, I would like, I would like, I would like, I have an opportunity. No school. You would like to have more opportunities. Opportunity now school. Mm, okay, what, what is the last word? I'm sorry. So I got I would like to have more opportunities of school. Yo, yo, como dice? Yo. I mean, you did it yeah. nice. Yeah, you did it yeah. nicely. So I would like to have more opportunities, but I'm sorry, I didn't get the last part. So más oportunidades de? Yeah, ir a Cuba. Oh, more opportunities to, to Cuba. go to Cuba. Okay, you like ah, to, to yes. go to Cuba. Okay, ah. sounds nice. Definitely traveling sounds like the best wishes ever. Okay, okay, nice. Guys, what about the rest? Hi, Judy, good evening. Iris, hello. Thank you for joining. Um, what are your wishes, guys? Morris? Me, teacher. Yes, please tell us. Um, the principal, I guess, that is being in our country and uh, exactly live in Barcelona. Why not in Salvador? Don't like it. Why? I, I prefer to live in another country. I don't know. Why? <laughs> I mean, I totally get that. But what is what is your, I, I your try, reason? I try to live. I try to live here. Okay. But I don't like it. Oh, but what is it that you don't like? You don't like the weather. You don't like the people. You don't like the jobs. Uh, the, the opportunities. Jobs, what is it that you don't like? Okay. The jobs. The opportunity. Okay, so uh, Spain, you said. Yes, in, in Barcelona. And I, I would like to have my own company and nice. travel around the world. Oh, that's everybody's wish, I guess. <laughs> like to go to some other countries and travel around, okay? Uh, do you have family living in, in Spain? No, no. Oh, you don't have family. Do you have any plans to go to Spain? No yet. Oh, okay. Well, but if that is one of the wishes you have, I think that you can make it come true. So you can work for that. It's probably a scholarship, probably looking for a job there. That will work. Yes, I guess. Nice. Okay. It's a, yeah. <laughs> just an observation. Yes. Uh, Mauricio, <laughs> he remembers me, a friend who wants to live in Italia too. Mm -hmm. and, and it's kind of funny because uh, the objective of living there is because he wants mm -hmm. to <laughs> just like uh, be an agricultor, something like that. <laughs> uh, thank you, Helen. No worries. He wants to be like a farmer. Farmer, yes. Oh, okay. And, well, so, and I guess they pay yes. better than here. The salaries, yeah. yeah. The salaries, exactly. I think, are different. <laughs> But, but you know, uh, hitting El Salvador, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> think, yeah. think about it, you, you do the same here and you can live of that and you go another country, for example, they say Italy and you do the same. And With a better salary. Uh, yes. You, you definitely do. got, yeah, you got a point, but, but you know, the weather, the people, you have food. To think, you have yeah. to think negative. You have to think anything. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Hakuna Matata. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I think it's it's definitely good, you know. And if you are young guys and if you can experience that, go for it. So don't stop it, I would say. All right, guys, what about the rest of your wishes? Gabby, hello and welcome. Um, so Gabby, what are what is something that you wish for? What are a couple of your wishes? Hi, good evening. Uh, well, one of my wishes would be like uh, get get my uh, graduation from the university, oh. and after that probably study a post grade in orthodontics. Oh, yeah. so you're studying dentistry, right? Short, mm -hmm. so short in short term. Oh, okay. So <laughs> is that long or of uh, how long are you supposed to study after you graduate to be an art? Um, two years more. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's I'll that's graduating from the university almost in two years, I think. Oh no, but that's gonna be super soon. Okay, but yeah. I think that's El Salvador have ortho. Uh, no, not, right. not, not, not not like a degree from the university, just a, like diplomas, but it's not the the um the, like you study in the university. Oh, okay. It's not recognized for the organization of El Salvador. So what is the plan? To study here or to go to another country? Yeah, I have to study in another country like Mexico, United States, or Germany. You're my partner. Oh, okay. So what 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 is uh what is the wish? Where are you supposed to or where would you like to go to in uh, to study or I to study in the US, I think. Because Do you have family I, there? Yes. Oh, so I would be near them and have the opportunity to work and study at the same time. I probably know a lot of more people from other countries and cultures. So I think that would be amazing. Oh, that would be super nice. Definitely, yeah. if you have that chance, go for it. But yeah. nice, sounds good, it sounds good. I hope you can make it and I hope you can become an ortho. Cause yeah, like a lot of dentists I know, they going to ortho treatments. But they don't have the degree, as you said. So they don't have like the, the education. Okay, okay, nice. Sounds really good to hear. All right, guys, what about the rest of you? Hi, Margarita. Good evening. Angelica, what is your, your wish or your wishes? Hello. Oh, let me see who else is here. Glenn is not here. Oh, Mar Margarita, do you have any wish you would like to share with us? Imelda, hi. Hello, Judy, good evening. Hi. Do you have any any wish you would like to share, guys? Nobody has wishes, do they? Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. It's time that you charge your wishes. Okay. Well, I have a lot of crazy wishes, I think. So one of them um, involve a lot of extreme sports because I really lo love doing like crazy stuff. Um, so one of the things I want to do this year, hopefully this or next year, is um, skydiving. So I don't know if you're familiar with that sport. So you go into a chopper and then you jump, right? So I'm like, yeah, I want to do that. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to do it. Oh, so that is something that's I so really want to go to. Yeah, I, definitely. I mean, I. Let's do this. Let's do this. I re it's kind of expensive. The thing is that I, I wanted to do it on my own. Um, so you can go with another person, like with a trainer or something like that. Um, or you can do it on your own, but you need to get the certification. So I was like, oh, it's too expensive. <laughs> but yeah, that's something I you really want to do. Plane, teacher. Sorry? You mean for a plane? Jump yeah. A plane. Ah, yeah, so, I I, yeah, you're going to a chopper. Que, que, o sea, saltar, pero de esos que te sostienen cuerdas. Es que oh. para así como decía, eso no, es el bungee like jumping. Eso. Yeah, that, that'll be bungee jumping. Yeah, and then I want to do a skydiving. So you're going to a helicopter or a chopper, an airplane. I don't think that works, but a chopper. And then you just jump. So that's one of the things that I really want to do before I, well, hopefully this year or next year. Uh, that is one of the wishes I have had for a really long time. And probably- you record a video with that. Yeah, but if I survive, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, yeah, I think it's it's super, you know, cool. And I don't know, I think that the other wish I had, I'm working on that, you know. So I said, I want to do something for my life. So I'm already working on my second wish. I'm going to let you know, hopefully, when I got it ready and done and settled. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got like a lot of crazy wishes. Um, Did you, would you like the, the static glows, uh, glow hydrostatic glows? You, do you already uh, prove it? Like to write on it? Yes. Mm, not really, you know, because uh, that would be cool, but I don't think there is like a lot of fun. You just go all the way up and go down, but I'm not into that. But skydiving is different because you are like on your own, like in the air. So yeah, so it's that in, in a scuba diving. I have already done a snorkeling and it's amazing. So I wanted to do a scuba diving, like you go into the water. Um, you have like a like a sort of um, some equipment, right? So you have a, an oxygen tank. Um, you got some flippers, and you just go like super super deep in the water. So I know you can do it in Los Cobanos and Ilopango, I think. So my wishes are related to that, you know. So doing crazy stuff. That's and why you I'm like to take a shower with Ruda. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, they are super safe. Margarita, what are your wishes? Can you share one of your wishes? Uh, hello, Miss. Um, I was to a student at the university. Yes, very nice. Sounds super nice. What is the career? What do you want to study? Um, um, engineering, a major. Um, administration, empresa, no sé cómo oh, business administration. Business administration. Administration. Oh, but that's a very nice career. Okay. So, do you have plans already? ¿Ya tiene planes de iniciar? ¿Do you have some plans? Yes. Um, oh, when? When are you starting? El, bueno, a principios del otro año. Next year. Oh, very nice. So congrats. That's a really big decision, but very good job. I'm happy for you. And I hope you can make it. So work like hard, Miss. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you. Super good. Super, super fine. Um, I think I saw somebody else. Hi, Kenya. Good evening. Thank you for joining, Miss. Already. Um, Mercedes, hello. Thank you for joining as well. Okay. Um, Imelda, what about your wishes? Do you have any wish? Can you think of something you wish for? Maybe I wish the. I wish to buy a house. Oh, okay. Sounds nice. Yes. Have but like in how many years? Like um I hope I I can do it this year. Oh, very nice. Have you like looked for some houses already or some uh, places? Yes, I wish to buy the house where we are we are living with my oh, husband. Oh, nice, nice. Because right now we are renting the house, but oh. we can buy it. No, but that sounds amazing. That's a beautiful one. So hopefully you can you can make it as well. Nice. I, I know that. that. <laughs> yeah, I know that it, it's super hard, especially when we are talking about houses. The prices are like crazy, yes. but but that sounds amazing. I really hope you can make it your own house. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time and sharing your wishes. I think it's like something positive, you know, to start talking about what we want in the future. Now let's go ahead and start working with what I got for you today. Um, I have this little exercise. This is just a simple test review. I'm not expecting you to take notes or to write the whole story, not really. Um, I just want you to 
in your head, all right, um, take a look at these verbs, try to read it, making changes to the verbs that you have here to the simple past form. Uh, please don't take notes. You don't really need to take notes, and that is not the idea. But the idea is to just get used to uh, using verbs in past. Um, so if you have, for example, this first part, it says um, get up, right? So we already know what the past of get is. So what I'm expecting from you is to just read this story in past, right? So I got up early Saturday morning and, and then you just try to read it, you know, using the past of all these verbs. Guys, I'm going to give you two minutes. Read the story to yourself, okay? Uh, so read the story to yourselves. And I'm going to ask later some volunteers if there are new vocabulary, new words, you know, from this vocabulary, um, you can de definitely take notes so we can check them later, but don't write it, please. That, that, that wouldn't be the, the objective of the exercise. It's not necessary to write it down. So two minutes, guys, read it to yourselves, please. An extra minute. Teacher, this conversation is amazing. Yes. Why? Um, it's about the vocabulary and the verbs. It's it's something really good to practice. We are going to practice, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we gotta practice it up. Uh, but nice, great to hear that. Yeah, it's very complete. Have all kind of verbs and words. It's very nice. 
It is, definitely. And we have simple past as well. Guys, mm -hmm. just a little reminder, is simple past questions. We need did and we don't change verbs. If you have negative sentences somewhere, so we don't change verbs either. I'll give you one more minute. Let me know, please, when you finish, when you're ready. It is not necessary to write it. It is not necessary to take notes. You can take a picture, right? In case you want to keep it to yourselves. But the idea is to just um, read it out loud so it stays in your head, right? Um, I think somebody else joined. Okay. Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine. And you? Nice to hear that. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Especially because the rain uh, is almost gone. So I guess that. Uh, that gotta be good. Uh, we are completing this exercise that you see on the screen. Um, so the, the rest of the guys are not supposed to take notes, but just read it out loud. Um, so the verbs and make the change, right? Um, of the verbs that we have in parentheses to the past form. So you can read it to yourself and uh, uh yeah pretty much that that's going to be the activity just okay, read it to your own thank you okay welcome Hey guys, let's get started. Let me have just a couple of you to read up this story. Um, and we're going to be taking some turns. Uh, so, um, Andrea, let me get started with you, please. Can you read the first paragraph up to Mastray? Okay, I try. Of course. I got up early Saturday morning and I did fill up my car at the petrol station. Then I then I drive drive straight to the corner cave to meet my friend for coffee. Hasta ahí yo sigo. Oh, continue, please. The last the last sentence, the last line. We had a we had a cup of coffee and I tried their strawberry cheesecake. It's definitely a must try. Thank you very much. All right. Um, Kenya, can you please continue from in the afternoon up to match? Okay. In the afternoon, I meet my brother at the country club and we played tennis. I was so happy because for the first time in my life, I won the match. Thank you very much. Mauricio, please, can you continue from on my way back up to cooking? Cooking. Mm -hmm. on, right my way, on my way back home, I stopped at to I stop it by the local market and I buy it some ingredients for diner. I invite my friends over from the over from the company. When I got home, 
I quickly cleaned up the tourist. I put la siguiente palabra, no sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Yes, that is beverages. 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 Mm -hmm. On the table and I start cooking. Okay, thank you so much. Margarita, please help us from I to crazy idea. I cook my family, family, famous, famous, ravioli, recipe, recipe for I be a little, a little nervous because I also invite invited yes fabulous fabio from the company cooking ravioli for an italian i want i know i know it was a bit crazy i did idea thank you very much idea. judy can you please continue judy from soon up to um summer uh, here from soon. okay soon they arrive they brown brown brought mm -hmm. no yes brought brought me a box of chocolate mm -hmm. yummy we sit on the terrace for hours mm -hmm. the weather quite mm -hmm. nice we mm -hmm. ate we, we ate drink and talk talk about our plans of the summer thank you so much and Jeff Ricardo please uh, finish up from like with these two lines Ricardo Meditando, no worries. <laughs> I know, I totally get you. I, Here, did Fabio? I had so hardy Saturday morning. Oh, oh right here. And, Rick, and I'm sorry, Ricardo. My, um, abajo, en las últimas dos líneas. So we are here, like, did Fabio? Is Fabio? Sorry about that. Here, did Fabio? Fabio fly. Mm -hmm. My Fabio, yes. My ravioli. Ravioli. Mm -hmm. Ravioli. Yes, hit. I, I love it. Okay. Hit bed. I long try to die, but I have it. I'm much fun. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, now let's check them all together, right? So, uh, get, what is the pass of get? Got. got. There we go. What about got. fuel? What's the pass of fuel? Fuel. Oh. Uh, it sounds like a regular, right? So we just modify this fuel. one. Mm -hmm. And that would be the pass, right? So fuel. Okay. What is that, teacher? Uh, when you go to the gas station, so you go to Puma, for example, you go to uh, Texaco, yeah, and you say, okay, please, um, I want it, Liamelo. I want gasoline. Uh -huh. <laughs> actually, Liamelo. the word, uh -huh, actually, it says fuel, fuel up my car at the petrol station. Uh -huh. Well, ahora, guys, ya no se fulea, right? So, actually, that's the word. Con uh -huh. Like the word fuliar actually being the guy, you know, fill it up. No, guys, okay. I give $20 to my car and I see only like three. 
<laughs> Three gallons. That's so bad. Super sad. Okay, let's continue. Drive. What about drive? Pest? Drove. Drove. Very good. So that's drove. Uh, what about the next one we have is have the best is? Have. Had. Mm. Had. Mm. The best is had. Yes, remember has had. is present. Try, what well, is the best? Try, Try it. it. Try it. Without the A, without the Y, and mm -hmm. changes for e, a, I, E, D. Okay, very good. Really? Exactly. So that is tried. Tried. Meet. Okay. Meet. meet. Yes, pero el pasado cambia, guys. So what is the best of meet? I meet, I meet there. Meeting. The best is? A meeting. Met. Met. Exactly. Uh, so meet, met. I met my met. brother, right? Ah, uh, meet is el equipo malo, New York. Met. Oh, okay. If you like, yeah, sports, you can take that as a reference. Played. Play. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we have played. Play yet. Play yet. Now, something very important, guys. Uh, remember that B? Necesito conjugarlo. I cannot just just I. I was. I was. I was. Exactly. I was. We very good. Win. I heard this in past. So this Win. is one. Exactly. Stop. What is the past of stop? Stopped. Stop. 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 Very nice. So that is a stop. Okay. Stop. Uh, bye. Both. Buy it. Perfect. Buy it. Oh, Buy it. that is both. Buy it. That is both. Okay. Next one, guys. Invite. Invite. Yeah. Invite. 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 Very nice. Buy it. Invite. Buy it. Uh, get. I'm not going to write it because you know it. Clean. Clean, Clean it. it up. Okay. Clean so it. we're gonna check pronunciation in a moment. A put. It's the same. The same, exactly. Start. Started. Start. Very good. Started. Sin miedo, guys. Started or started. A cook. Cook. Cook it. Cook. Mm, pero me falta un sonido. I'm missing cook. one sound there. What is it? Cook. cook. Perfect. Cook. Perfect. No sé quién lo dijo, but yes. That is cooked. Very nice. Uh, okay, again, I be nervous, but this is not possible. Was. I was, was nervous. Was. Yes, I was, was nervous. Okay, I also invite. Ya tenemos acá el pasado. Invite. That is invited. Mm -hmm. Arrive. What's the best? Arrive. Arrive. Oh, arrived. There we go. So this is arrived. Bring. Bro. 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 Yes, very good. Bro. Sit. Bro. The same. Sad. Mm -hmm. sad. Excellent. Sad. Yes. So that is sad. Exactly. So sit. Sad. sad. Okay. Drink. Drunk. 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 Excellent. Talk. 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 Very good. You last to eat. Oh, I, I missed that one. You're right. Uh, so eat we have eat. Eight. Mm, eight. No, eight. Right. the pass is no, no, we... Like the number, eight. exactly. Yes, I, I was broke. also missing. Die, broke. Die, die, you broke, you don't put. Uh, no, because I heard that most of you knew it. But yeah, I can write it down. So that would be brought. Okay. Uh, what about the weather? The weather was or where? Was, was, was. The weather was exactly so. The weather was, and uh, I think you know, drink. I'm not gonna write it down. Drunk. Talk, you know, yeah. the Talk past. Throw, mm. throw, Hot, throw. right? Talk. Love, you know it. No, okay. How, uh, what about the day? If I want to say, guys, el día fue muy pesado, so how can I say that? Take, take a look at this sentence. It was a long, tiring day. Fue un día muy cansado, muy pesado. So it was a long, tiring day. Guys, what about your day? Was it a long and tiring day? Estuvo pesado? Was it a tiring day? Not really. Not, not really. really. Not really. Yes? Not really. Not really, really okay. quickly day, teacher. Uh, really? No. Yeah. Today was I long. Week in Berlin. <laughs> Today was <laughs> super no long. Trabaja. Just can you? Yeah. What's his mistake? Oh, okay. No, but Kenya is here. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. Like no worries. No worries. 
That is okay. All right, guys. It's a very nice job with the verbs in past. Uh, just remember that we normally use verb in past, right? So I be, not really. I was, or it was, or she was, etc. Questions with vocabulary, or are we good? Yes, I have a question, teacher. Yes, miss. First one, how do you say laguna mental in English? I have a blank, or my mind goes blank. Okay, so... I have a blank. I'm confusing. Um, was and were. Okay. I don't remember where you using were. Oh, okay, okay, that's all right. Uh, and that is actually a very nice uh, equation here. So let me just make it here. So remember that verb being best has two forms. So we have was and we have were, right? If I am talking about myself, for example, and I say yesterday, estuve en mi casa, so I'm going to use one specific form of verb, and that is I was. Um, that's why when you say cuando yo tenía 10 años, guys, how can you say cuando tenía 10 años? When I was when I when was, I was, was, was exactly. so when I was ten years old, when I was twenty yeah, years playing, old, playing so I was I'm going to use I was, she I was, was a little younger. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was young, exactly. So or it was, for example, today. Oh fun dia corto, it was a short day. Of un día muy pesado. It was a tiring day, right? So I am going to use uh, was for these four pronouns. I, third person singular. She, he, and it. When am I going to use where? I'm going to use where for plurals. So I'm going to use it for you, for we, and for they. So this is why I say, oh, you were. Oh, veniste tarde. You were late, right? Um, so you were super oh, angry, so you were angry, right? Or we were, so we were bored, right? Or es, teníamos sueño, we were so sleepy. So we use were for plural forms. They, I'm going to use as well, were for that. So the difference, guys, uh, pretty much is was is singular, y lo usamos con terceras personas singulares en I, and where we use it for plurals and for you, we, and they. And that's it. That's pretty much the use of it. Are we Thank okay? You, mm -hmm. No worries. Are we good? No questions? Guys? No questions? Wow. What, what is the beverage? Uh, I'm sorry? What is the beverage? Oh, beverages. Let me just circle the word. Uh, and I have some vocabulary for you, no worries. So I have this word that is beverages. Okay, take a look. I invited my friends over from the company. When I got Wait home, you. I quickly cleaned up the ter terrace. I put beverages on the table and I started cooking. So cooking and put beverages on the table. So, ¿qué se imagina que es esto? What do you think this is? Guys, can you help us? No vean en el diccionario. Just try to get it. Es una bebida. Bebidas. Bebidas. Bebida. Exactly. Because it says, I started cooking. So, puse bebidas. Ya, yeah, bien general. So, maybe water, maybe soda. I don't know. So, el beverages. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, any other? Question. Yes. Like, yes, Ricardo? My brother... Is thy country flu? My brother. My brother uh, is thy country flu. Um, I'm sorry. In que in que parte está? Where are you? Mute. Mute. I'm mad. I'm. I'm mad. The afternoon. My, My brother mute. at the country club. Oh, I'm here. Mute. Okay, ¿cuál es la pregunta, Ricardo? What is the question? Si en question, en, en working for the country club, o, o question en 
¿cómo se dice? Parque, parque. Chicle. Uh, this was country club? Uh -huh. mm, okay, let me get this straight. So your question is, uh, if they are in a bicycle, you said? Bicycle, bicycle. Mm, actually, they went to a country club. So in este caso, guys, country club is como un club social, un right? Club. Like a country club. club. Social. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. they play tennis, they say. No, they didn't ride a bicycle, they play tennis. Okay, guys, eh, so eh, we are going to practice some eh, words. A city, a city, mm -hmm. a city bicycle. Eh, eh, San Salvador. Oh, uh, but no, I don't think so. Um, I'm not sure where there is one here in El Salvador. Creo que está Maya Country Club. I think that's the only one that is super similar. Okay. Okay. Está en el Salón, teacher. En el Salón? Mm -hmm. yeah, el Maya Country Club es el que está en, en el inicio de Santa Tecla. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, because there are not many. Uh -huh. no, like they Así are super sí. expensive. Okay, guys. So before moving on, just repeat with me, please. Uh, so if you can activate your microphone, that would be amazing. So let me just say the words and then try to repeat them, please. So this is definitely, definitely. 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 There Definitely. we go. Very nice. Next one, beverages. 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 People say beverages. beverages. So beverages, beverages. beverages. So beverages or beverages. And that's okay. Beverages. So beverages. 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 Both are okay. Next one. Recipe. Recipe. Next one. Chocolate. Chocolate. Delicious. Chocolate. Yes, it is. So chocolate. 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 Choc. Choc. Chocolate. 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 Exactly. Le quitamos la O. So choc. Late. Chuck. Chuck. Late. Chuck. Late. All right. Chuck. Late. And the last one, guys. Tiring. 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 That's the one. Tiring okay, guys. Day. Very nice. I just got, uh, give me one second. Let me erase everything here because we're going to practice a little bit this. A uh, simple past description, but I just wanted to present this over to you. I have some questions, guys, that I want you to practice with your partners. Uh, give me one second. My computer got frozen. Um, hold on. Okay. So I just, I just have a couple of questions that I want you to uh, talk with your classmates about. And the idea, guys, is that we can use simple pass, you know, as much as possible. So I have some questions for you. Let me share them here. Uh, I think that they are quite interesting. So the first one says, have you ever lost have your you wallet? Have you ever lost your uh, wallet? So uh, like when you have money, when you have your DUI, right, your credit card, debit card, everything. So have you ever lost your wallet, guys? Um, and again, if you have never Sorry. lost it, invent and say hello, guys, or talk about a friend, talk about your mom, your dad, anybody, but give us information, give us details in past, please. Second, have you ever played Free Fire? If the answer is no, but tell us about a person you know who has played Free Fire, all right? Uh, maybe your baby, your nephew, your cousin, etc. Have you ever watched the Titanic movie? If you haven't, lie. <laughs> okay, or give us some information. That's all right. That's you all right. know, I have never seen it. I have to be super honest. I have never seen the Titanic, you know, because I don't like romantic movies. Um, but I saw like the first 20 minutes and I was, oh, I was super bored. <laughs> I don't like romantic movies, you know. Have you ever played When cards? you watch younger? No, I never. For example, um, 
when That's was the only thing that you yeah. can see in the TV? Mm, no, you know, because my father uh, used to like, well, we used to watch different kind of movies. Um, so I really love Mexican movies, for example, like Vicente, no, Vicente Fernandez, Pedro no, Infante. I hate that one. Yes, Pedro Infante, Cantin Plus, you know, Parece and all of them. So, yeah, with my father and my brothers, um, my sisters, not much, but with my brothers, we used to watch Mexican movies or the, um, other kind of programs, but not nah, Titanic, you know, I was like, no, if they fight, I'm happy. If there is action, I'm happy. But if they are like romantic movies, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I need a coffee because I'm falling asleep. <laughs> Have you ever played cars? Yeah, so like, I don't know, with your family probably? Or have you ever lost any money playing cars? Have you ever fought? Oh. Guys, what is the meaning of fought? Where is it? It's cool. Exactly, like physically, yeah. right? Going face to face. Have you ever yeah. fought somebody at a school? I don't know why, but uh, probably some of you like look like you fought a lot. Um, I don't know why, but I have the feeling that Berlin fought a lot. <laughs> so maybe you can tell us a little bit more. I don't know teacher, exactly what Tenemos is the cara de que fui mal fought. <laughs> yeah, fought oh is um, well, like when, like when a person starts bullying you uh, or says something bad at you. You don't hold it back. You and just go it, and physically attack somebody or grab somebody's hair, you know, or I don't know. So um, have you ever fought, guys? Or with your brothers and sisters? Nunca pelearon, guys. You never fought with them? Yes. Yeah, maybe with your cousins, yes. with your yes. neighbors. Yes. Uh, but not, not verbally, with, right? With my brother, no, like 10 so times. Uh, it's super common. So it's, only it's Andrea normal, Andrea normal. Que era la only child, so <laughs> she was so lucky, you know. You can say there's a type of love. Like, well, like, why? No. Type of love. I don't know. So I have to listen to that. Fight and the last brother, one, guys. Type of love? Oh, yeah, probably. Probably. Love and hate relationship. <laughs> and the last one, have you ever fallen in love? Guys, with this one, you can give like very general things. Please don't cry, okay? <laughs> no need to give us specific details. Just you can give us like very random or very general ideas, Cantando right? de Macana. Uh -huh. So the, the idea is not to cry over, <laughs> but just to practice simple past, okay? Or I don't know, I fell in love with Chajan, but I don't know, guys. So you can make up some lies as well. Um, I don't want you to write anything, please. No escriban las respuestas. That's not the idea. Just um, go ahead, listen to your classmates carefully, and I'm gonna be switching you up so you can listen to more people. But pay attention, please, to your classmates. Pay attention to what they say and participate, guys. I really want you to participate as much as possible. Uh, we have 10, 15 minutes to do that, and then we come back, and I'm going to ask you to report the, the answers your classmates gave. So enjoy it. Let's go ahead.
Ok. Um, I want to ask to Andrea. Ok. Have you ever lost your wallet? Eh, in my... Ay, ¿cómo sería? Yo no. I didn't. I didn't. Oh, I haven't. I haven't, ¿verdad? I haven't. Okay, I didn't, but once my father uh, lost your wallet, uh, he... His wallet. Yeah, his wallet, uh, he for, forgot in the bus. I have uh, a similar experience. But in my case, I didn't lose it. Uh, I, ¿cómo sería? Me la robaron. <ríe> eh, Robert, creo que era. Robert. I don't know. Robert, I think. I think stole. It was mm -hmm. robbed. Sorry about the, the spelling. Eh, yeah, you can say it was robbed. Was, or you can okay. say I was robbed, right? Like okay. me robaron. Ajá. Uh -huh. You can use a, use a stolen, like it was stolen. Okay. Stolen so, and robbed has, has the same meaning? Uh, yeah, but, uh, but, 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 when you use it, like it was stolen, it was robbed, yes. Uh, but I is not possible. You can say I was robbed, como me robaron, but you cannot say I was stolen. <laughs> Because mm -hmm. that is like, me robaron a <laughs> mí. Like, uh -huh. so it, it, the, the meaning can vary a little bit. But if you use it, yes, it was robbed okay. or it was stolen. Well, tell us about it. What happened? Were you yeah. walking or what? I, I was, I, I went to my job. Okay. So I was on the bus. Okay. And when I... ¿Cómo se llama? Me bajé del bus. Cuando, got off, yeah. Yes, when I got off the bus, mm -hmm. uh, I looked for my wallet in my bag right. and I didn't find it because... Um, it was the, going. Yes, but the, the, the bag, it was uh, cut. So uh -huh. I understand that somebody... Uh, like somebody my, ripped it. Yes. Yes, oh. my bag, it was cut in, um, a la parte de abajo. Okay. Oh, wow. So yes. only your wallet was going? My wallet your... and my phone. Okay, so your it's... wallet and your phone. Yes. Did you have some money in your wallet? Not really. It was very sad because I didn't have money. Oh. I have only two or three dollars. Oh, okay. But... <laughs> But the difficult part, it was I lost all my documents. ID, yeah. Yes, my exactly. ID, my credit card. So oh. it was very difficult to but uh, I think, replace it. Yeah, that is super bad because it takes a lot of time. But the good point in this is that um, you didn't get like the trauma, right? That, oh, somebody put uh, a gun on me or... Um, I didn't even realize that somebody stole my wallet. So I guess it's positive in a way. Oh. Yeah, but it is so uh, upset Definitely. at the moment. I am so, I, I was so upset. Did, did you get back to the bus or ask, no, where is no. my money? Where is my wallet? I remember that I was crying. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear but, that. Okay. Yes, I was crying, but I was crying. Uh, so because the you were upset above yes. oil, above oil, above all, because I was upset. Exactly. So we, I normally cry when I'm super upset. Uh -huh. yes. Not because I feel sad, you know, it's like, oh, buy two dollars. <laughs> but just because we are like, oh, come on, my phone, uh -huh, my yes. things. I, I get it. All right. Guys, what about the rest of you? Thank you for sharing your story. Judy, do you have like any story to share with us? I think Helen was, was not at home. I think she was on her way. 
Uh, Gabby, what about you? Have you ever lost your wallet? Hello? Um, actually, I'm too. Uh, how, how, what is the word? Oh, so you're like, okay, let me write it down. So you can use the word clueless. Clueless. Uh, you can use this one or you can use, oh my God, wait. I am as well, pero se me olvidó la palabra, I forgot the word. <laughs> and then that's the word that I used to describe myself. <laughs> um, gosh. Okay. Yeah, we can use clueless. Let me think about the other word, but the clueless okay. is all right. Well, I'm really clueless. So I forget and lost my wallet and keys the whole time, but just at home, not in the street of another place. Usually I lost it, uh, the cell phone a lot. So, um, but just that, no, I have not like trauma when someone has told to me just once. When I was like 12 years old, I was walking in the street with my cousin and I used to, and I recently bought a, a, a chain, I think. Una cadena, un collar. Yeah, so like a necklace. Really yeah, it was really cute. It was so cheap, like $15. I was young, so I didn't have enough money to buy a, a very a very um, rich or a very good stuff. So okay. it was really, really cheap, but I bought it by, by myself because okay. I earned a lot of money to buy it. So uh, when I was walking, a guy just uh, approached us and just grab it from my neck oh. like la rompió okay. and just uh get up in the car and just run and just like that it was so um a dramatico it was a very scary experience because it was the first time and i was a child just just like that and okay. well, that's the only experience that i have Mm -hmm. I got the word absent-minded, but clueless is better, I think, in this scenario. So absent-minded is the other one. I am super absent-minded. I didn't remember the word. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, but that was only, uh-huh, that was a chain. But the thing is that it, it's upsetting, right? Because uh, somebody just approaches you that way. I get that. All right. You know, when I was studying, I used to take a lot of the, I don't know if you're familiar with buses, guys. I used to take the 44 bus or the 44 coaster. Uh, so that was like horrible. I My lost... experience was in 44. Oh, okay. You see, <laughs> I was going to the University of El Salvador and um, I lost my, my wallet. Well, I lost my ID, you know, my wallet and everything like three or four times. So I was like, okay, have it. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was used to that. But yeah, that was, you know, in the past. Judy, yes, tell us about it's your so experience. Dangerous. Uh, I hear that 30B is similar. 30B, 30B. From San Salvador. 33, no, 30B. 30, 30 the one that goes uh, 30, 30, 30, let me remember. Oh my God. But, oh, I really? Also, the I one that goes to the hotels. To, yes, no, I, I just back it to San Benito, Salvador, I think. 30, 30. Oh, I cannot remember. <laughs> I remember I used to say 30, but I think it was the other one. Now routes have changed a lot. Yeah, like 101. So if you have ever gone to Santa Tecla and taken 101, so stories, guys. <laughs> okay. So when you get the stories? Gabby? 26, dear. 26. 26. 26. Uh, yeah, it goes from Terminal del Sur to Universidad de El Salvador. Oh, okay. But it, it goes to yes, 26. Santa yeah, Salvador, right? Uh, like a similar time. experience. Oh. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that it goes all through like downtown San Salvador, right? Yeah, that's why it's kind of dangerous. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Judy, talk to us. <laughs> and I in think telling is better. In my case, I wrote the I don't wrote the Wally. And one day, 
finish the work. Mm -hmm. um, I going going the at home okay. on the bus. Sorry. No worries. We we understand that. <laughs> that is okay. No problem. I'm sorry. No, don't worry. We totally understand we are at home, you know. So there are like a lot of noises. Suddenly, guys, escuchan las rancheras de mi vecinos too. I don't have dogs and you listen to dogs in my earphones. So it's okay. We totally get that. Okay, thank you. The, ca the case is um, on the bus, okay. uh, I wrote the cell phone. Sorry, Someone, when I'm oh, on, on the bus. Go for your, yeah, go and take care of your baby. No problem, no problem. I'm sorry. sorry so sorry. when you come back, you tell us. That's okay. All right. So uh, Helen, I don't know if you're there too, or we can like move on with the rest of the equations. Uh, guys, you can share a screen if you want to. You are supposed to, to I think you can share a screen. Either way, the second question um, is related to uh, these games that people play in the phone. So have you ever played Free Fire? Once I try, but uh -huh, okay. ga the game, it's a, a little hard for me. Okay. But uh, alguno, some. Some, uh-huh. Some co-workers okay. in this launch, okay. they gaming, no, playing. They played, yeah. They played. The launch. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. This, this game and they excited a lot. Okay. And so you started playing too? No, my, me no, yo no. Okay. Oh, so you watch them, but you didn't uh -huh. try. I tried once. Okay. But I don't like this game. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Because it, okay, the game was super addictive. The, the game is addictive, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Girls, have you played the like Free Fire or Fortnite or games in your porn? Yeah. Do you play? Do you do you like to play? Uh, in my case. Yes, because I heard that you, uh, when talk about games, <laughs> you know a lot. Uh, you know, the thing is that I have an, a nephew and I have nieces and they like playing games a lot. Um, like probably at the beginning, I played uh, Free Fire when it started, you know, because uh, one of my, of my friends had a group so he was like, Julie, come and join the group, you know? So we played together, but it, it became so addictive to me. So we spent like a lot of time in the game and I was like, no, why, what am I doing with my life? You know, what am I doing with my time? So I was like, no, this is not for me. So no, now I don't, I don't have any game. So I don't really, um, I prefer to spend my time in other things. Uh, I'm learning French, I'm learning like other things, mm -hmm, but but no games, not anymore. But I, I know about them because of my nephew. So oh, okay. he is like, oh, let's play this, you know, or he explains to me how the, uh, the, the game is played. Um, well, what about you guys? In yeah. my case, I, ha I have never played games. Okay. Even when I was a kid, because oh. I never have an interest about playing. Okay. Uh, my brothers, they play uh, when we were we were kids. That is correct. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> okay. Okay. Do you uh, have like a GameCube or a, like a PlayStation mm, or something? <laughs> I really, I don't know because. 
I I didn't you're, understand. You're not okay. Okay, got yeah. it. Got it. Uh, All right. But um, maybe in 20, 2020 year, the pandemic year, <laughs> mm -hmm. because we are so bored. <laughs> Oh, you played. Um, yes, I play because my husband, uh, they, he played. Um, Don't tell me FIFA. Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, he Call of Duty. That. Okay. Yes. My so, brother used to play Call of Duty too, but I never understood it. <laughs> in you. my case, I have never played, but my husband, hi, my husband. Uh, taught you. Yes, uh, he taught me. And. At the final, at the, at the end, final, at the end, uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like the play. Oh, so okay. Now we okay. play together. No, you play together. Yes. Nice. That is teamwork, you know. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So that you can share something. Uh huh. It sounds good, guys. What about the rest of yours? Me, teacher. I never, I never played um, Free Fire. Or like um, phone games? I don't like. I don't okay. like. Like um, no one at all? Not even Candy Crush or all of them? <laughs> yes, Candy Crush. Um, oh, you see? Okay. Mario Bros. Okay. Mario Bros. In your phone. But, um, but my ghost, uh, she is playing. She she played Free Fire. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. How long does she normally play? Like one hour, two hours? Um, all day long? <laughs> all day. No, all day. All day long. It, the thing is that it, it's super very, addictive. It's very, very addictive. The game is super addictive because you want to get more and more, you know. So yeah, uh, Gabby, what about you? Are you like a, like a game fan or something, Helen? Are you do you like games? Are you into games? Are you gamers? Um, Hi. In my case, um, in my case, um, I have no idea what is a uh, free fire. No like. <laughs> okay, you have never seen it, you have never played it. No, um, Cars, uh, Mario Bros, um, <laughs> Juegos Sencillos. <laughs> different, different games, different kind of games. Okay. Yes, no, but that's okay, you know, because my sister is super crazy with Candy Crush, you know, so she has it in her phone and I don't get it, but it's okay. Uh, but but uh -huh, I'm not like the gamer type. Gabby, I don't know why Gabby, but you look like a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have, I have never played a Free Fire, but my cousin does. And oh. sometimes I sit beside uh, beside him. No, I'm sorry, besides no. Uh, next to him uh -huh. and I watch him play while he's playing probably he he plays like two or three hours or probably the whole afternoon until their their parents uh, has arrived at their home uh -huh. but I think it's really boring <laughs> oh. I don't understand the game uh, but I don't like that they get the game also I uh, play okay. my phone, but it's banana coins like a monkey that just jump. It's a very stupid game, but I like it. I like it so much. And well, okay. so just, just that. So mm -hmm. just bananas? <laughs> so the yeah. monkey just grabs bananas and that's it? <laughs> Yeah, the monkey has to jump like um very um like in different levels and avoid um like uh rocks or or um wood something things like that you okay. also jump to the trees and and swims or oh. go to like uh inside the inside the volcano and it goes from lava he has to avoid it and oh. like no sé cómo se llaman como unos piquitos que están en el techo de las cuevas I have no idea, not, not even in Spanish. <laughs> okay, so he has to avoid danger. Yes. <laughs> he and has that's to avoid all. some danger. Oh, it's, okay. It's really stupid, but I really like it. But but it's just fine. As long as it entertains you and it's not that addictive, I think that you're safe. We are safe, right? Yeah, okay, okay. Sounds good. 
So nobody's into Free Fire. <laughs> okay. So guys, what about the rest of them? We do have a couple of questions though. So I'm going to leave you uh, here to practice a couple of minutes. Let me go with the other group. It, it is, it, if it's your happiness, that is the most important thing. Because many of people uh, may be confused the, um, the happiness when something that you have to do, but it's really, really, and we know that your wife is hearing you. So, okay. And that could be our secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Juan, tell, tell us, uh, have you ever fallen in love? Yes, yes. Yes. Tu esposa también te está oyendo. Yes. Aproveche que va a hablar en inglés. I love, I love, I love it forever. Never forever. And how, how you, um, how many years you already married? Maybe you be old. Yeah. No problem. ¿Cuántos años tienes casado? How long? Ah. How long? Hey, hey. Hey, eight years. Mañana, mañana lo cumplimos. Hey, oh, kid. Congratulations. congrats! Very nice. So nice. eight years. Uh -huh. Do you have babies? For the iglesia. Sounds good. Do you have babies? She will eagle. No, uh, wedding. That would be wedding. 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 Mm -hmm. So that is like like level, right? Okay, or ceremony you can say. But nice, so eight years, so good, good for you. Okay, guys, I guess you are discussing the last question, right? Have you ever fallen in love? Yep. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think Enrique is working and Enrique is not feeling well. I don't know if you listen to Mercedes. No, teacher. Eh, okay. Nosotros tres están de oyentes. Mercedes okay. de oyente, oyente Rubén también, Rubén y Félix no tiene la palabra, pero no contestó, así que creo que también está de oyente. Yeah, yeah, the thing is that Enrique was, was sick. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. he, he's just listening, okay. Entonces, okay. Solo somos nosotros tres. No, but nice, nice. More opportunities, you know, for you to practice. Um, so, Rafael, what about you? I think I didn't listen to your answer on that. Oh, wait, or what is the thingy here? That your husbands and your wives are around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's the funniest thing. Oh, it's that's so bad. Oh, okay. body, body, body. That is super bad. It's a bad idea to say something. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. We can skip the question. <laughs> yeah. It I don't, uh, maybe for me, uh, if I have ever fallen in love, um, I have made some different definition about love. So mm -hmm. yes, I already fallen in love, but um, in my opinion, you can fall in love um, for different things or for different people at the same time. It's not, um, it's not that you love someone or something and you are only, and took that and appreciate only one thing. Maybe you have a, your heart, it's in the different parts of your life. So maybe that's something that I learned. learned. Wait, that's a, a very interesting um, point of view, I would say. So just say that at the same time, you can have feelings for different people people or thing some maybe for me the love is something that you uh, felt happy okay so if something for me makes me feel or felt happiness is something that i will love it for example what makes uh, you happy um, for example my family that it's oh. only my mother and my sister uh my two only friends 
when my best friend and my uh, teacher, I don't know how, how do you say, pero he escuchado que en muchas situaciones le dicen como amigas, girlfriends. Entonces no estoy segura si es correcto. O sea, se le dice así. Yeah, girlfriend or boyfriend, it's okay because that doesn't mean romantically involved. But if you want to be more specific and if you want to say, como mis amigas mujeres, you can say my female friends. Or if you want to say not boyfriend, right? Como to avoid the confusion of novio and romantically being involved, you can say okay. male friends. So I have female friends and I have male friends, or you can say I have a couple of girlfriends and boyfriends. But okay. the thing is that creo que el contexto a veces can yeah. be a little confusing. Sí, duda. Pero, okay. Yeah, okay. Entonces, or, so that would be my my. my my around it's very closer so maybe you only have four people in my life and no five people with my grandmother okay. and my cat oh okay. so Sounds maybe nice. and it was very easy to understand it because i already passed something very difficult and i understood that if you have to move on with someone because you have to do something that is not means that you are in love. That's because maybe you have another things about it. And, and that's something that I really learned. So that's how I learned that maybe I wasn't in love. Oh, okay. Just maybe want to do something else. And that made me feel that now in this situation, I love every person in my life that it's all the person that I already named it. Oh, nice to hear that. All right. Yeah, definitely. So love is not just something romantically, right? Okay. Exactly. Rafael, exactly. what can you tell us about that? I, I think, teacher, uh, that falling in love, uh, it's, uh, it's not romantic. The, uh, Rafael, I, your, uh, camera, your camera is breaking. Si gusta apagarla, turn it off a moment. Uh, uh -huh, and, and probably the audio gets better too. The, um, other, other forms, uh, the, the, the love is not necessarily romantic. Okay. Um, for example, uh, I, I love it. I love um, my son, um, but family, okay. or uh, how do you say, uh, how do you say Belen and um, friends or or parents? Okay. It's 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 love. It's love good and um, and love. It's it's love. It is is it's happy a healthy love too right so it's yeah. a healthy kind of love mm -hmm. so okay that's a very nice one guys healthy love that's a very nice definition because we I are like. in love not only with people but you know well with people but in different scenarios now i get exactly. you Okay, so friends with family. All right, sounds good. Maybe you just have to, we have to, eh, como sería, como lo dicen ahora, teacher, de, eh, ay, se me ha ido, pero lo están usando mucho en los temas psicológicos, que tenemos como que hacer más común. Eh, mm -hmm. Se me ha ido la frase, pero el, sure. el punto es que quieren hacer más común el hecho que, eh, podamos decir amo a alguien sin tener que hacer una definición totalmente romántica. Oh. Eh, pero no recuerdo la palabra, pero el mm. punto es ese, que la palabra define que hay que hacer más común algo. Por ejemplo, el decir no debe ser común, no debe ser algo que, 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 que sea raro escuchar que alguien diga no, no quiero, por ejemplo. ¿verdad? Pero no oh. se me ha ido la palabra. Pero, uh, I didn't know there was a word for that. Okay. No, but 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 I, I like the definition. So I think that uh, um, Rafael in Belen, you, you got like a very nice point there. Uh, Ricardo, what about you? What are your tips? ¿Qué tips les puede es dar? Nos puede dar el normalicemos. Okay. Yes. Now, okay, what tips nos puede dar a las nuevas generaciones? <laughs> 
I feel young, guys. Yeah, I'm using, I'm using, hey, 80, 90. Okay. Okay, but, 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 so, Romano. Ricardo, in the sense of, usted tiene experiencia con su matrimonio, so you have some experience. Now, what yes. recommendations? ¿Qué nos recomienda? What do you recommend the new generation? Veis, portarse bien. <laughs> so behave. Ser fiel. Okay, now, okay. No fallarle en nada, okay. estar en las en la buenas y en las malas. Y okay. En la enfermedad y en toda la advertencia. Okay, nice. Now in English. Um, Guys, está, ayudemos a Ricardo. Gary, Help Gary. Ricardo out. Mm -hmm. Estar en armonía. Okay. Respetar enfermedades. En la adversidad del tiempo. Ok. Ok, Ricardo. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, que dijo el sacerdote. <laughs> de los votos, right? <laughs> He's trying to remember the votes. Now que está listo yeah. para la celebración de mañana, you know? So he's practicing <laughs> for tomorrow's to celebration. Show her a cake. Oh, practice, are you going to celebrate practice. the anniversary? El, el viernes, Friday. 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 Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Sounds all right. Okay, guys. It was so nice to listen to you. Give me just a moment. Let's go back so we can uh, finish with this. Give me one moment. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. That was like a very nice and interesting way to um, to share the part of your experiences with these. Uh, and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. So, uh, Carlos, thank you for joining. I think, creo que Francisco ya se está también. Give me just a moment, guys. Solo esperamos que regresen los demás. Hold on, hold on. All right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, guys. So how was your practice? Did you get to listen to your classmates? Did you listen to any interesting story you want to share? Uh, I have, I guess everybody has something to share. So um did you did you listen to anything there that was cool i want to listen to number five if you can tell us a little bit about your classmates answer have you ever fought somebody at a school guys who has fought or who fought at a school me too sure oh maurice oh really okay who else yes, Only maurice, sorry. You? Girls, nobody. Hi, Francisco. Iris, too. Iris, what? Iris, that's, that's my girl. The travel, <laughs> the travel maker girl. Okay, so Mauricio, what happened in your case? Why did you fight? Mauricio? I don't remember why. I, oh. We were we are playing football and it just happened oh we are we are studying and we have like 20 years old 20 yes oh so you were kind of adults so you were not children anymore oh okay Okay, so you don't remember uh, sorry, that. Sorry, you... sorry, 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 sorry. I quise decir 10. Oh, 10. 10 years old. Ten yeah. years old. Okay. That's well. an excuse, teacher. <laughs> I was like 20, so it was so recent, you know. Okay, okay, that's all right. 20, 20. Como, como que que ayer. Ayer. 
No, 10, 10, he said. Okay, guys, who else fought? 20. Uh, Iris, girls, did anybody fight? I have some fights when I was at school. <laughs> okay, uh, what kind Chismecito. of fights? Chismecito. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think um, innocent fight, <laughs> but... I'm not sure. Uh, but, but, okay, but when you say fight, so you mean physical, right? So you went I physical. Yes, you, but uh, and not uh, so um, grave. Okay, not so, um, I don't know, not so rude. big fights. Uh -huh. So rude, not so rude. Okay. Nobody get injured. Oh. Uh, just like a uh, hair. Like grabbing somebody's hair. Yes, or a uh, empujón. Oh, pushing somebody. Okay. <laughs> okay. A <little> push. <laughs> and that was it. With girls or with boys? Um, <laughs> with both, maybe. Okay, so it was with boys. Okay, okay. Boys and girls. <laughs> oh, with boys. Parejo, eso, parejo, del. Okay. <laughs> When I was a kid, I was a person no dice, that no I, 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 I now, am now. And now? Para no, now, never. Mouth, mouth. Okay. That was when I was a kid. Oh, okay. It sounds like you were terrible. <laughs> okay. Guys, anybody else? Who fought, guys? Del agua mansa. Yes, I was. <laughs> Libra <laughs> medio. <laughs> Belen? Yes, teacher. What happened? Um... In my group, I try to uh, talk about it. It's it's not because I yes, obviously I want to fight because it, and it's because it doesn't fair that people want to fight with someone no. that is that can defend herself so or himself. Okay. So I try to defend the person that couldn't defend oh, himself. Okay. And so not you only you took like other people's fights. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt. Um, and and not only for the physical way, maybe a uh, verbal way too. In another in another situation, the verbal is like most powerful that the fight. So, uh, but but uh, in the case that would be just like an argument, right? So you just yeah. argue and you don't exactly. get into something physical. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not trying to say like the bad words. No, um, mm -hmm. argument like yeah, something like that. But yeah, it's kind of uh, for example, even with I remember that that when my father, I I I have a lot of fights because of my mother. Because oh. I tried to defend herself, and in in the case of my sister in in the school, because the kids tried to bully her. Uh, uh, maybe for example, a girl uh, put a uh, crayons crayons in her bag and tried to say they stole them, and it's kind of oh my god, <laughs> was trying to it was very funniest. But yeah, oh. it's, it's not my fault. It's fault of the other people. Uh, okay, okay. Well, well, that's really interesting that you kind of uh, took other people's fights as well. All right. Uh, Rafael, I don't know why, but I have the feeling that Rafael has something to share. <laughs> Rafael, did you ever fight? I don't have fears. Angelica, did you? Rafael, no <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, right? Because I see Rafael like he's smiling, so I'm like, Rafael has something to share. Yes. Tell us, Rafael. Hi, Angelica. Great to hear you. No fight? No, teacher. I don't know, uh, Rick. <laughs> I I I was children. Um, it's a small. Uh, the smallest. Smallest, uh, my smallest. Okay. Were I you like a smallest, quiet boy? Uh, Were you a quiet boy? He looks like a good boy. Yeah. Right. Not really. But, uh, 
<laughs> Not really, but you didn't find much. Okay. I don't, I don't find. Okay. Okay, that, that's all right. Okay, guys, let's move on a little bit with part of the things that we have uh, in the previous class. Give me one second. I don't know where I moved it. Okay. In the previous class, we were talking a little bit about these uh, things. Today, we are going to talk, um, we're going to just move on a little bit with the following vocabulary before we start uh, checking the content for this unit. Friend. And guys, uh, I'm going to give you um, one homework assignment go. as well. So, okay, first of all, I have here five words for you. Uh, I don't know if they are new. I don't know if you already got them. So we have blind, we have brand, uh, we have comparison, we have target, and we have consumer. Guys, a blind, can you give me uh, like a sentence? Can you give me an example or a definition for blind? So what is blind? No sé por qué, pero lo traduzco como en un tabloide. Mm, okay. I think blind is that person that cannot see. Oh. Yeah, okay, nice, exactly. So blind I is a person. Uh -huh. Yes, Imelda? It's person. like um, when your mind is probably empty. Mm, very close, very close. Uh, but let me write that word down. So that would be blank. Like uh, blank, okay. or I don't know why it's, but it's blank, okay. So, but in this case, as Gabby mentioned, so blind refers to your sight, right? So if you say, oh, are you blind, right? That means that you cannot see, okay? That's that's the one uh, we normally use. What about brand? What's brand? Marca. Una marca. marca. Very nice, exactly. Can you give me examples of the most famous brands in El Salvador? Coca-Cola. Sure, I, I, yeah, right. okay. no. I don't understand blind. Blind, this one. Mr. Okay. So, uh, so, Rafael, if you cannot, okay, I wear glasses because one of my eyes is getting blind. So I don't see very well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, Como ciego. yeah, exactly. No. So normally we use it because you have problems with your eyes, mm -hmm. pero también como una situación de y que no ves, you know? <laughs> like, are you blind? Y no está viendo. Yeah. Uh, in El Salvador, we use it a lot, yeah? So, but blind is that, that you don't see very well, that you have problems with your eyes. Okay, so, thank you. Mm -hmm, welcome. Brand, we say, yeah, it's a company that is super famous. Wow. Comparison, what's a comparison, guys? I think it's easy, right? But you have two things. Yes, very good. You have two things and you compare them. Perfect. Target. What's target? Uh, goal. Goal. I think Angelica goal. said something there. Objective. Yes, objective. Exactly. A goal, an objective. Thank you, Kenya. Exactly. So that is target. A group of persons. A be. group of people too. Yes. So target. Imagine, for example, I am, a, I don't know. Okay. I am Coca-Cola and I need to choose the target. What is target? So it's the group of people I'm going to select, right? That is going to be my consumers. The people I'm going to, in the previous uh, activity, like one week ago, we did an activity and you had to select the target group, right? The people, are you going to select like children, like teenagers, adults, etc. So sure, those are the ones. Uno como, como, lo, como lo conocemos en español, como un, una media. Mm, no in this case, miss. I'm, I'm sorry. Como el mercado. Target? Mercado, el grupo objetivo. El mercado al que va dirigido un producto. That is the one. Thank you, Kenya. Okay. Exactly. So target or algunas veces lo van a escuchar como target group. So target group, exactly. Es a quienes va dirigido. El objeto, right? Hacia quienes va su producto. Imagine, for example, um, uh, we have these... Uh, what is the name of this type of shoes? All Stars, for example. 
So, and, and if you think about the target, guys, ¿a quiénes le gustan All-Star? Who, who wears Converse for All-Stars? Teenagers, like, like, what ages? Other people, younger. Like, uh, ah, young people, exactly. 16 a 20 años. Exactly. So the target is actually that kind of people. So people in those uh, between 16, 20, 21, 22. No, guys, todavía yo tengo 30 something and I like them. <laughs> so, but either way, that would be like the target, right? What kind of people? And consumer is us. Right, so we consume. We it's because buy products. you are too younger. No, I'm not young. <laughs> not anymore. So I no, guys, I'm I'm not that young. So we're going to check out this part uh, mm -hmm. of the material that says establishing the most appropriate method to test a new product. Um, I would like to have two people. Um, Kenya, can you please help me read Alejandro's part? I want to listen to your beautiful voice. And okay. so I haven't heard Francisco. Are you there, Francisco? Francisco is busy. Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Can you please help me with the part of the father? Okay. In the conversation. Thank you. So, Kenya, whenever you're ready. Okay. We are ready to, to test our new product. What do you do? No, what do we do? First, I think the site, site. Mm -hmm. site and handling test will be the best option because it allows customers to see the product, feel it, is smell it, smell it. Mm -hmm. and smell it and Taste, Taste it. it. Mm -hmm. Taste it. What about other variables? Will the product be branded or not? It'll, it lets you decide on that song. Daughter, that would be. <laughs> Just kidding, continue. <laughs> Great. As for the method, I was thinking about the mo monadic consumers will eat and test our product first, and then we'll rate it and find it more coherent for our new product, the Papa Sandwich. You're learning, you're learning some. We have to some we have so much work to do. We have to discuss about our potential customers, the prototype, our target, audience, marketing, etc. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I have a question for you. What is the monadic test according to the conversation? Consumers will eat and taste our product first. Exactly, exactly. So if you take a look, this is like one of the tests they are going to start. So maybe they will give samples of food because they are talking about a sandwich, right? So it says uh, consumers or customers in this case will eat and taste our product and then rate it. Like I give number one, I give two, I give three, I give four, right? Um, so they give different numbers. Guys, have you ever seen Master Chef or Hell's Kitchen or something like that? Do you yes, like those programs? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, in no, English. Teacher. Yes. No, nice. Sure. No, guys, you have to watch them, but in English, not in Spanish. <laughs> What's your favorite? Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen, but in English, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. with the with the butters guy. <laughs> with the butters. The the Hell's Rams? Kitchen. Rams, yes. Ramsey. Okay, okay. Ramsey. Guys, yeah. do you watch those programs? No. Master T. Master Chef. Master Chef. Kids. Oh, for but kids. in English or in Spanish? 
Um, I saw in Spanish. No, miss. <laughs> you have to watch it in English. <laughs> Guys, I invite yes. you to watch programs in English, especially those programs. Bad you learn a lot. Yes? We I saw three years ago. A lot of years ago. No, but now you're ready to watch it in English then. <laughs> no, well, actually... Like we have a better with gastronomy and you are seeing a program that are cookie. No, you know, um, I invite you to watch programs that are, that are in English. Uh, for example, I really love the programs uh, with Ramsey. So he has hotels, uh, kitchen nightmares, hotel nightmares, I think, uh, health Hell's Kitchen, uh, because you follow it, you know, because uh, uh, sometimes they have the, the subtitles uh, and you can follow them. So they are really good for learning English. That I didn't works. like, I yeah. didn't like so programs in English because I don't understand. Then I feel lost. Oh, okay. And now I you feel lost, to watch programs but, but in now uh -huh. in, in this level, I can see in English, the programs, and I like. Yes, yes, I like it. Nice. If I saw a serie in Spanish, I I I see a game, but in English. Nice. That sounds yes. amazing. I, I have the I have the how do you say context? The context. The context. Or an I idea, right? What the program is yes, going to I be have, about. Uh -huh. Yes, I had an idea and I don't feel lost. Exactly. Like before. <laughs> or, you know, another, another thing that works a lot, guys, is not watching full series, but watching just like, I don't know how to call them because it is not, um, it is not the, like the preview. Um, for Future example... Program? Friends yeah. are good too. Which one? Friends. Oh, if you like that kind um, of programs, ew. yeah. I mean, watch anything, guys, that is in English because the idea is to expose your ear to that. Uh, for example, I love uh, Doctor House. Oh, yeah. That's a good, that's a good. And I watch it in We're English. We're talking about. So I just go to YouTube and I watch like little pieces of the programs and that helps a lot. You can see in Amazon Prime. No, but the thing is that I don't watch the full series. I watch just like the two minutes video. I don't know how to call them, but they are like eh, super son, son de las experiencias más importantes. Uh -huh, de los exactly, de like capítulos. the summaries, yes. The resume of the capítulo, creo que sería, I don't know. I don't know because it's just like little pieces, but they are super nice. And I think I mentioned that at the es very beginning, Peter. guys. If you like uh, anime, so go and watch Dragon Ball. So watch uh, Inuyasha or Naruto, so but Dragon in Ball English. Naruto Ball is in Japanese, I guess. Yes, but it is dubbed. So whenever you want to look for, for an anime that way, so look for this one. That's called dubbed, right? Uh, y lo van a encontrar en inglés. You will find it in English. Guys, es el mejor inglés que uno puede escuchar. This is the best English, porque es inglés como para niños. So el vocabulario no es super raro. The vocabulary is cool. You follow them in the pronunciation is spot on. The pronunciation sure. is really good. Yep. And Dragon Ball is dubbed? Yeah, I have found it in English. Because uh, they say bad words. <laughs> do they? But I have never heard that in English. Uh, because oh. I normally watched uh, Naruto in English. They say Tontito. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Bicycle. Bicycle. They say, they don't say bad words, I think. But, but. No, Naruto don't say bad words. No, they never, they no. have never, I have never they heard. They have it. some expression that may be kind of rude, but. Not Dragon, Ball, Dragon Ball say bad words. Not but words, you know, because it's for children. So they try to use words that are like, oh, less, less difficult. Okay, guys. And Pluto are free teacher for, for C anyway. Which one? Pluto. 
Pluto TV, it's, it's an it's application that you can download it and you can uh, see a lot of series and anime for free. Oh, sounds and good. Or also if you have Netflix, so you can have it in English uh, because I watch it in English sometimes. So guys, I totally recommend them over to you. And as Kenya said, no se van a sentir perdidos because the English level they have no es extremo, you know, no es like super crazy, sino es como para niños. Entonces se entiende super bien. So even les da tiempo para sí, ustedes like ya practicando. Papi. So that's super nice. Uh, yes, I see Blue's Clues. Blue's oh, Clues? We write yes, I see Blue's Clues with my daughter. Oh, she is okay. two years, years old. Oh, nice. So you're, you're practicing with your daughter. Okay, sounds really yes. nice. Okay, guys, I have this little exercise. Okay, and I will just ask you to complete it at home, please. Uh, this is in unit number two. It says building vocabulary, and this is exercise number six. So, tenemos todos los tipos de tests, like branded test, blind test, monadic method, sequential monadic method, etc. I will just ask you to complete it at home, and we compare the answers tomorrow. Les voy a mandar la, eh, igual el número de página en el, en el que está para que ustedes, you can do it before classes. Guys, uh, before leaving, solo me ayuden con su camarita, please. Help me out with your camera just for a moment here. Uh, let me take your attendance. Y gracias por acompañarnos today. So I truly appreciate it. Um, give me one second. Just let me get it here. Hold on a sec. Okay, give me one moment, guys. Uh, so I'm gonna take the attendance here really quick. So sorry, this is taking longer uh, to load. Okay, guys, so me regalen confirmation, please. Angelica? Here. Thank you. Delmi? Present. Thank you. Ricardo? Yes. Rafael? Present. 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 Thank you. Francisco? Present. Thank you. Andrea? Here. Thank you. Belen? Present, teacher. Carlos? Present Enrique. teacher. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. Wait, Enrique is off. Uh, Helen? Imelda? Present. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Iris? Present. Hello, Miss. Miss, no tiene que contar lo de las peleas. Yuri? Here, teacher. Thank you. Ruben? Class. Yes, nos quedó pendiente. Uh, Mercedes? Present. Thank you. Margarita? No se preocupe, Miss. No worries. That's okay. Uh, Kenya? Present. Arnaldo? And Mauricio? Present, teacher. Thank you. Gabby? Present. Thank you. Guys, me faltó alguien. Am I missing anybody? No, I think I got everybody. Okay, guys. So thanks a lot uh, for joining. Nos vemos el día de mañana. And solamente Iris, si tiene un par de minutitos, eh, me ayuda quedándose, please. Si no, let me know para hacer el cambio con alguien más. Thank you, guys. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. tomorrow Have a good tomorrow. night. Solo una cosa. Dígame. Este, hay una tarea que no la he podido realizar y creo que varios no hemos podido. Entonces, no sé si usted nos podría explicar el tema. Este es. Un segundo. La unidad 1, la 1. Uh -huh. Exacto. Give me one moment.
Oh, es sobre reducción. No. Sí. Yes. Reducción okay. de adverbios. Cláusulas uh, de adverbios. Sí, uh -huh. de hecho es el tema que voy a, a retomar. Ok, guys. No worries. Dejémosle por el momento así. Lo retomamos el día de mañana. Vamos a hacer un par de ejercicios para que también ya lo podamos completar. Yes. That is adverb reduction. All right, guys. Lo retomamos mañana. No worries. Gracias por, uh, por traerlo. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Thank you. Good evening. You're welcome. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. See good you. Night. See you guys. Tomorrow. Have a good night. Tomorrow. Got to put it here. Hi, Iris. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hola, Miss. How are you? Are you sick? <laughs> I'm fine. No, no, no. Oh. Um, a little. Tired. Alert. Oh, okay. I, I heard you sneezing. So I was like, <laughs> oh, she got, you know, COVID. <laughs> okay, okay. But thank you, Miss. Solo le voy a robar un par de minutos. I'm just going to steal a couple of minutes here. Um, so thank you so much. Gracias por, por un, oh, yeah. Okay, so gracias por, por acompañarnos, right? Thank you so much for being here. Creo que no la he escuchado mucho these last days, pero espero más adelante sí escucharla a little bit more. But actually, I think that you communicate quite well. Eh, creo que sí, sí, you know, uh, con respecto a grammar, con respecto a speaking, a listening, qué es lo que considera que se le está costando más pues, para poder, you know. Me cuesta bastante listening and speak. Ok, cuando me dice listening, ¿se refiere a listening a todo o listening como cuando alguien habla demasiado rápido o listening porque se queda pensando mucho tiempo en lo que alguien está diciendo y lo traduce al español? Or, I mean, usted ha identificado qué es lo que eh, sí. le cuesta más, right? Creo que cuando ya eh, estoy en una conversación o escucho una conversación fuera de la clase, o sea, en la clase... Pocas veces tengo problemas con, uh -huh. con entender lo que se dice o los otros compañeros. Okay. Pero quizás porque ya todos tenemos como que un ritmo y, y está la conversación más despacio y usamos prácticamente palabras similares todos los días. Okay. Entonces no me cuesta, pero cuando escucho, digamos, una canción o una conversación o me pongo a ver algún video en inglés, me okay. cuesta bastante. O sea, son contadas las palabras y quizás por... Por contexto es que más o menos puedo un, identificar de qué es la conversación, por oh, alguna palabra, una okay. palabra. Pero lo siento que me cuesta bastante, bastante. Uh, okay. Y hablar aún más, porque siento que mi problema es, creo que tengo poco vocabulario, sí. Pero de repente es como que pienso, oh, ¿y con qué tengo que unir esa palabra, verdad? Entonces como uh, okay. que siempre tiendo a, a querer traducir y a pensar qué significa la palabra que voy a decir. Ok, ok, Let, let's give it a try, you know, porque normalmente en la clase pues son 20, en cambio que es la oportunidad de escucharla por un tiempo un poco más extenso en uh, uh, dejarle alguna actividad, you know, que nos pueda colaborar o con la que podamos ver de qué manera atacamos, ya sea listening or speaking. So, um, uh, for example, tell me, tell me a little bit about the things you like. Algo que me guste. Yes. Ah, ok. Lo traduce. So you translate sí. things. Ok. Ok. Bye. Hagamos algo. Let's do something first. Lo que escuche, está bien que lo traduzca, no hay ningún problema, pero no lo, no lo um, exteriorice. No lo Exacto. Okay. No lo exteriorice. So, piénselo. Está bien. Tradúzcalo. Get the idea e intente contestar sin exteriorizarlo, sin decirlo. Porque ahí, si ya es como que el español ya se metió, ¿no? <laughs> okay, so tell me about what, what, what are the things that you like? Eh, I like uh, um, I enjoy uh, <laughs> pasar tiempo with my family okay. and uh, and make time for me. For example, okay. I, I, I work up and I learn the, the, the new topic or, or, or something of my interest in. Uh, okay. 
So, do you do exercise every day? Do you work out every day? I try, for example, four or five times in the in the week. Oh, nice. Okay. So, when you have time off, or when you have like some, uh, when you have some free time, what are some of the topics that you um, study or you listen to, or you check? What are some activities that you do? Uh, for example, English. Okay. Um, in in this moment, in in gestión de proyectos. Oh, okay. Project development. Um, Project development in finanzas, finanzas oh. for para no financieros. Oh, okay. So finance. Are you are you a business administrator? And no, I am a marketing and publicity. Oh, nice. Okay, mm -hmm. sounds really cool. All but right. In my work is 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 about the. Uh, uh, administration. Oh, okay. So you have to deal with payments, payrolls, uh, and everything with the employees. And yes. Okay. Payroll, payroll is like como los pagos, right? Las planillas. So you and, have to deal with payrolls. And no exactly is payrolls for providers. Oh. And, and it's more the the purchasing my idea is purchase ah, okay so your mm -hmm. position is yes purchase of products yes oh so you deal with providers you don't deal with employees no employees no the providers oh, okay and you don't deal with cost consume cost, um uh, with customers either my co my um i'm gonna write it there so you don't deal the deal so you don't deal with uh, customers como no 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 los no tiene nada que ver con los con ellos con los consumidores and the consumers are uh, the 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 different ideas of my company for example my customer are um, the department mercadeo and I, IT, informatica, administration, and the other uh, agencies is. Uh... Oh, so you have like different line of business. Uh, no, or, different, or different like, areas. Uh huh. My, oh. my customer are different areas of my company. Oh, okay. So does your company provide services only in marketing? No, my company is uh, is financial. It's a it's in a bank, but my idea is purchasing. Um, we we pur we buy the product of service that uh, the others ideas. Uh, uh, Need. Need. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, because you mentioned IT, so I was like, wait, so you handle different, okay, you handle different areas. So uh -huh. that is the point. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, got it, Miss. All right, vamos a hacer uh, un pequeño ejercicio. We're going to do a little exercise, all right, because... Uh, Vamos a trabajar pronunciación, vamos a trabajar listening al mismo tiempo y vamos a trabajar un poquito de vocabulario too. All right. Eh, hágame un favor, envíeme un mensaje en WhatsApp, please. Can you send me a message? Le voy a enviar el ejercicio. I'm going to send you the exercise. Eh, son ejercicios como de un minuto. Vamos a probar una técnica que se llama la técnica shadowing. Lo hemos hecho con usted, ¿no? Right? No. Ok, vale, la técnica se refiere a esto. Cuando hay palabras que me cuesten, uh, voy a intentar decirlo con la misma velocidad, con la misma pronunciación que le estoy escuchando, right? Entonces, como cuando uno está pequeño, cuando está creciendo, que alguien dice algo y pues lo repito, lo repito, lo repito para que ya se me quede, right? Entonces, este ejercicio es, es similar. Se llama técnica de shadowing porque yo escucho a alguien leer algo 
y voy a intent intentar decirlo con la misma pronunciación, con la misma velocidad y pues el vocabulario obviamente va a haber palabras que son nuevas, las puede escribir en un cuaderno aparte, you know, get an idea what it is y como las está escuchando, practicamos listening de una sola vez. Vamos a practicar este ejercicio primero. Necesito que se grabe. So I need you to record the audio, ok. Y cuando ya lo tenga, no es para ahora, right? no es como ahorita vaya a ser, right? <risa> sino mañana, you know, durante la semana, eh, porque sí, probablemente no le va a salir a la primera, sino que tenga que grabarlo varias veces. Y ya cuando usted diga, ah, no, hoy sí ya se parece, you know, ya lo dije igual, ya sonó bastante similar, me lo manda, yo lo escucho y vemos, y usted me da también, right, su, su retroalimentación, si le funcionó con listening, si le funcionó con pronunciation, para poder ver si vamos a seguirle enviando más ejercicios ahí o si cambiamos un poquito la estrategia y buscamos otro tipo de ejercicio que le, que le ayude con listening, right? So we, uh, okay. the moment, all right. <laughs> Ya sí. le envío el ejercicio. I'm going to send it over to you. Y cuando lo tenga listo, envíemelo. No es para ahorita. All right. It's not for okay. you. So just send it over. Gracias, Iris, por quedarse. Thank Nos you, vemos teacher. el día de mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Gracias. Have a good noche. night. Adiós.